Ivan Demidov should be playing more in the KHL this season. He hasn't been perfect in his shifts, and we're going to look at some of his weaknesses in this video, but he's been very effective overall and showing all the skills that made him so amazing to watch in the MHL last season. This video is part of an article I wrote on Demidov's progress on epringside.com. You should check it out if you want to know more about his development. Here, we're going to break down shifts against Sochi. It's not a great team, but Demidov received more ice time than usual in this game. This video will focus a lot on Demidov's off-puck play, especially offensively. That's the quality that has shined the most so far this season. There's not much space at the KHL level, and Demidov has been able to time himself with the play well to take advantage of pockets. You see it here on the power play. The team runs their routes, they stretch the defense and open up potential passing plays. Dimidov got open for his teammates a couple of times in this first sequence, and he could have gotten scoring chances. He creates the zone entry for the power play at the line with a change of speed and a nice dangle. And again, he takes his position at the bumper spot. Considering his playmaking ability, Dimidov would probably be more useful on the half wall on the power play than the bumper spot, but he's showing that he can play that position. He offers passing options, but his teammates don't seem to want to use him as often as they should. Here, the Midov climbs. He's in a perfect spot to receive this pass in a turn toward the net and get a great scoring chance. But his defenseman settles for a slap shot. The Midov then takes charge. He freezes a defender and makes a nice give and go, but he hesitates a little too much in front of the goalie, pulling off one too many dangle. Evgeny Kuznetsov makes a good play for the Midov at the line in this shift. He settles the bouncing puck, corrals it, and fires, just missing the top of the net. Then there's a forecheck, a pinch, and the puck rims around the zone. Demidov gets the puck back at the line, and he tries a similar kind of delay play as Kuznetsov. The idea is good and part of the execution too. He drags the defender one way, invites the contact to free the passing line, and he turns back to make the pass. The timing is slightly off, but his line manages to score anyway right after. In this early season, Demidov is not always playing a lot. He's on the verge of making some great plays, but he's sometimes missing just that extra finishing touch. Here he gets a 2 on 1 off a turnover, and he instantly passes across to his teammate. It was a difficult pass to manage, and a good idea, but the defenseman cuts it. If the puck got across, it was a sure goal. Maybe he could have transformed that catch into a shot instead. Demidov loved to make that extra move at the MHL level last season, but now he has to become more decisive. And he is here. He sees that the defenseman has his skates pointed toward the boards, so he faints, gets inside, and then positions himself for another one-timer. This is a great shift from him. He got three scoring chances. Two off difficult moves, and one with his ability to position offensively. Like we've seen in previous videos on Demidov, he has a harder side to his game. Look at this rush. Demidov knows he doesn't have the straight speed to beat the opponent, but he doesn't want to lose the puck, so he makes contact twice with the position. He keeps inside positioning on the puck, battles for it, and finds it back. Kuznetsov passes it to him inside space, and Demidov gets off the wall to find a high slot pass. This is another shift where we see how competitive Demidov is. He sprints to cut a D2D pass, falls, but manages to send the puck to the slot to his teammate, and then he does it again. The puck gets there with a bit of luck, but first he made a really impressive mid-air catch to settle it and make the second play. Had he not managed that catch, he would not have had time to turn and protect the puck from the incoming defender. That's what makes the Midov so interesting, his combination of skill and tenacity. He has that second and third effort, and it's a rare quality in such a creative player. On top of that, he also has off-puck skills. The Midov reads Kuznetsov's plays well in this shift. First, the drop pass. Before 92 attacks inside, Demidov is already sprinting behind him, anticipating the next play. The pass is just a little off, but he turns back with it and the puck gets shot to the back wall. There's a forecheck, a turnover, Kuznetsov finds the puck back and Demidov drives the net. The two players can't exactly find a lane, but Demidov doesn't stay in place. He pops open on the wing for his next teammate and gets a one-timer off. And the shift is not over, Demidov makes one last good play. A leading pass to Kuznetsov that bounces over the stick of a defender right into the slot. Again, the execution is not perfect, but he's showing a lot of different skills. There's some great ideas there, and he's building chemistry with teammates and reading off of them. Sochi is struggling in this game, and Demidov is making them pay. Here, he steals the puck from an opponent. I like that he doesn't go for the puck instantly, but uses his body to force the opposition away. 
That's a great habit that this coach at the NHL level will love. But then he turns the puck over with a pass. He doesn't anticipate the hard back check at the KHL level. As soon as he sees this, however, he comes back on defense and repairs his mistake. He sees a vulnerable opponent and he makes a play on the puck and then helps his team reorganize the offense. And in the end, he gets rewarded for his play. That was a great shot. We didn't really consider Demidov a high-end shooter in his draft year, and we're still going to need some more examples of shots like this before changing that evaluation. But seeing him beat goalies from afar like this is certainly encouraging. If you pay close attention to Demidov, you also spot some solid details in his play. Here, he sees the pass coming to the wall, and he makes a pick play to create space for his teammate. This is not a very important play, but in this position, another well-known young Russian star would have likely chosen to fly the zone instead, to get a pass in space. Compared to him, Demidov plays a more collective game in the KHL. He does have his own pitfalls, however, like trying too much. Demidov is super talented, and he can take players one-on-one -on -one even at the KHL level. But he's not the most efficient player right now. He handles the puck casually sometimes, trying the clever passes and the flashy dangles, instead of making more secure choices. Like here, he positions for a regroup, but tries a soft drop pass instead of controlling the puck. He didn't spot the defender coming up behind. The other limitation of Demidov is his speed. The shift starts in the defensive zone. Demidov covers his man well, and not much happens. And then he gets the puck. This is a great bomb pass to his teammate, and he fakes the defender to make it. But we can look at the sequence in another way. The defenseman ahead of him doesn't have much momentum, but Demidov makes a difficult pass to a teammate who is partially covered instead of driving in this space. A more explosive skater would have attacked that space. He would have beaten the defenseman and potentially created a short 2-on-1 with his teammate. You can look at this in a couple different ways. Pure speed is not one of his main strengths. Yes, it would be nice if he had that extra tool, but he has already more than enough speed to still make poise at the NHL level. Right after making that pass, he beat the defender in a straight line to get to the net. And we can already tell that he has other ways to compensate for his more average speed. He sees plays and lands passes that others don't. Here's another example of this. The Midov gets the puck in open ice. He could attack space with his skating, cut to the middle, or make a chip play past the defender. But he doesn't do that. Instead, he relies on his stick handling and physical skills. He baits and evades a poke check, places the puck to the feet of the defender, squeaks by, and then he lands a backhand centering pass to his teammate. Right after, he goes to the slot to try and get his stick on an incoming pass or shot. Demidov has to work on some things at the KHL level, but overall, he's been highly effective still. He's showing an ability to play without the puck offensively and defensively, he's beating defenders one-on-one, -on -one and creating more than his share of scoring chances. He can score and his playmaking ability shines in some way almost every shift. He deserves a lot more ice time than what he's getting. Unfortunately, he's just going through the typical SKA treatment for rookies leaving for the NHL next season. Demidov just has to be patient. His low ice time will slow down his progression a bit, but probably not in a significant way. His skill foundation is just too large to be erased by a single coach. No matter how few minutes he plays, he still seems to be playing with the same drive and learning from his shifts. And that's what matters. After watching him play in these first few KHL games, we're now even more confident that his game will translate to the NHL. If you want to know more about Demidov's play and progression, you should check out my article on him on epringside.com. So that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe.